All right, this is gonna be probably the raw, yeah, it's working. The rawest video you've probably ever seen of me. I don't know how this is gonna go. Um, I'm doing a walk and talk. It's gonna be long, but it's also gonna be probably the most important video I've ever made. So if you're a viewer of the channel and you wanna see what's next, you're probably gonna to wanna to participate in this. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the other stuff and then we'll do what's going on currently. All right, so day four, uh, I was eating my food and some police stopped me while I was eating. I wanted to see what was going on. I was basically trying to eat where customers wouldn't see me and you know, stay out of the way. They basically didn't care about me. They were just glad I wasn't doing meth. They said, enjoy your night and they left me alone. Day four was pretty uneventful. Day five was 4th of July. I had probably the best 4th of July ever and I was completely alone. I found this spot in the middle of nowhere on my electric bike and it was like 80 fireworks shows were all around me. It was so fun. I loved it. Like, and it was so cool because uh, one random family saw me on the side of the road where I stopped and they were like, yeah! And they stopped there with me and enjoyed and watched it with me. They were really nice people. It was really fun. All right, day six, where the drama ensues. So I tried to fix some problems I had uh had some problems with registration like i said this is going to be a very raw video you're hearing the audio that's flawed you're hearing me walk around you're hearing me exhausted this is real because what i'm about to tell you <laughs> we've only ever seen in movies all right so get out of here fucker day five or day six which is where we are now this is uh i tried to fix my registration problem so i went to dmv uh is a long weird story but basically they never sent the stickers even though they had the right address they never sent it so i tried to get it sent to where i was in pennsylvania of course they didn't and the postmaster rejected it which i'm kind of wondering if i can take it to court because they're not supposed to be able to do that especially when it's an important document they know where i am i kind of wonder if i can put that person at fault and get out of this whole thing so basically they're telling me because I didn't have registration, or I did have registration, I'm sorry, because I didn't have insurance, which why would I? I at the time, I didn't think I had in, reg, reg, any registration, so why would I pay for insurance? You know what I mean? I didn't. I don't know how it works. I didn't know that it's still there. I just have the wrong numbers on my plate. I don't. I'm not them. To me, I'm thinking I don't have registration, so I stopped paying insurance because I lived the block away, and I was like, I'll fix this later. Come down. I have an $800 fee. The hell bug was that? That was a big bug. An $800 fee to work with. Now, I can pay it, but then it basically ends the challenge. So there's a lot of options here. And I'm going to be exercising as many as I can. So to keep you up to date with what's up. What is that? It's like a mosquito. I don't know if that's what gnats sound like up close or if that's a mosquito. It's just so weird because you don't hear it till it's in your ear. And also, why do they, like, fly into your eye? Like, are they trying to kill themselves? I don't understand these damn bugs. They probably would help if there wasn't so much horse crap on this trail. All right. So, basically, I can look into my options of, can I sue? You know, can I... Really? Right in the ear. Nice. Can I sue? Can I get out of it? Um, other options have popped into my head. Uh, see how far we get. Wherever the problem lands. That's where we rebuild and we figure it out there. I'm not staying in Maryland. Uh, the other one, this is where I was talking about, no, I'm not gonna ever hurt anyone. I'm not talking about being a serial killer or anything like that. You've probably only ever seen this in movies, but I was gonna watch that movie again when I, when I was a kid, there was a movie about a guy who ditched Harvard education, ditched everything and just went to live in the wild. And I wanna watch that movie again as an adult. I wanna see if it's, kind of altered to fit societal views and, and I, I just want to see if it makes more sense now because I'm a man about details especially when you're someone who's thinking that heavy you're thinking every detail you know what I mean you're thinking how's this going to affect me how can I get away with this how's this going to work he was a Harvard kid so he's, he's a smart kid he's thinking this stuff through his head so I want to look into to the movie and see one if Hollywood altered it and two I might even check out the book I mean it's a book no one really reads anymore, so it should be cheap. 
And I just want to see and get inside his head and figure out what's up. Because I might be heading down that path. I got to figure out what my options are. I know everyone's going to say I'm overreacting. I'm not overreacting. I'm tired of getting stomped on by society. This was 100% not my fault. 100%. I was ready to pay everything. In my mind, I didn't have registration because my tags are, exp are expired. So it looks to me like they're going to pull me over. I didn't know that they had, they run the plates and it doesn't work that way. I, I don't know this stuff. I don't work at the DMV. So I'm going to figure out what to do. I had to eat some food and calm down because this whole thing just absolutely pisses me off. Uh, I'm trying to figure out my life and I wanted a little vacation and I'm still taking it. And don't, don't get me wrong, there's ways to pull it off, but I mean, I'd basically be using half, if not more, of the money I saved up for nothing, for something that was someone else's mistake. I, I can't, I don't know if I can accept that. And I just don't know if I care about being in society anymore. I don't have a girl. I don't have anything I care about. I don't desire to have the next best car. I desire to share some cool memories with you, make friends and have fun. I'm not preaching to you on how to be. I'm not preaching to you, don't sit, don't partake in the system this is my journey society failed me when my father sat there in front of the tv and i still still shakes me up basically he drank to the point to where he couldn't walk and i looked this up my friend was and he's trying to be good-hearted and put hope into my heart i know he is and he's wrong but i lived it i watched it i know what happened and i also did some research and I found a video on YouTube 10 years ago about exactly the kind of dementia he has and they literally and this is no joke they literally described everything he went through including how he got there like they even played the moment to moment scenes to where like you're there you feel terrible but you're like I'm gonna do it again anyway they played all of that so that you would literally understand what was going on and like yeah at the point where I was with my father and where I'm talking about he couldn't walk, and instead of going to a doctor, figuring this out, he crawled down the stairs from the second floor, and he sat himself in front of the TV. And then he basically didn't move for four days. Each day, I would call the police, trying to get them to do their job, trying to get them to take care of him and put him somewhere. Didn't want to do it. Day four, they finally got annoyed and they did their job. The system has failed me repeatedly, and I never did anything to fail it. I paid my taxes. I did my dues. So I'm kind of like, I'm tired of this, dude. I've got things in that car. If we do the work, <laughs> we could build a cabin. We can do it all. The internet's there. Um, I have the equipment to look up YouTube and stuff. Step by step, day by day, we get through it. And we share this insanity together. And again, this isn't about views. This is about, I need something to believe in. And I don't believe in society. I don't believe in giving some bill hole my money. I know everyone's going to say they don't believe, but I'm to the point where I'm about ready to fight. It's my own fight, but I'm ready to fight. I'm tired of this. So I want to see what to do. And like I said, yeah, this is a rant. Absolutely it is. I'm pissed. Who wouldn't be? Are you still? Okay, eight. Not too, not too long. Still trying to figure out what to do. Because I just don't know. I thought I was good. I'm sitting here driving around. I just drove three states. I basically could have gotten a fuck, fucking massive fine. Had no idea. Thought I was in the right. Thought I was literally doing the right thing because I tried to get them to mail them to me. They wouldn't. And, th and like I said, the other problem is because that postmaster's in Pennsylvania... Yeah, I doubt they're going to extradite. I don't even know if it's extradite. Extradite it's more like overseas, but it's different jurisdictions. I, I got to look everything up. I got to find out, does this carry state to state? If I'm in another state and become a resident, will it just magically go away after a couple years? Because that might be what I have to do. I said I can turn in my tags. I'm just trying to figure out what's best to do here. And then the other thing was they set a payment plan, which I didn't fully understand. And I'm probably going to ask them about, but it's like, Am I not able to drive until the payment plan is done? Because that's stupid. So I'm trying to understand my options. And it just... I really, really feel like it's time to just go extreme. I mean, I don't fit in with anybody, dude. I literally don't care. 
I know I see a beautiful girl, I'm just like, whatever, I don't care anymore. Absolutely, I'm still straight, still love women, I just don't care about the whole gotta fit their image, gotta do this, gotta do that. Can't call anybody this, I'm so tired of it. I just want to live my life and not think any of this crap anymore. Like I said, the movie's going to help me decide tonight. At least it'll be fun to unwind to a movie. Just it's crazy, man. I literally wanted to have fun and share all this great stuff with you. And this is what Marilyn does. That's why I never wanted to come back. And then there's still the factor of should I see my dad, which everyone who has a heart tells me to, but again, you weren't there. You didn't see what he did. You didn't see the choices he made. You didn't see how he got where he got. But at least I don't feel like my friend's right in any way. Like he was like, oh, I don't think alcohol does that. Yeah, you're wrong. Everybody in the paramedics that picked him up all said they've seen it a million times. No one was even worried about diagnosing him. Like it's it's so common. I don't know if my friend's just trying to, to cheer me up. But it was so common, I couldn't believe they didn't put more awareness to it. I mean, what he did, though, was a level above and beyond probably what you've ever seen. Like, we all have that alcoholic we know. But he would work 12 hours, come home, and drink another 8. And that's not an exaggeration. Then he would go to work, work 12 hours, drink another 8, and do it again. I couldn't, it was literally like he wasn't human. I could not figure out how he did it. And I just, everything amazed me. I know everything's like, oh, it's it's always someone else's fault in a way. But like, seriously, how is there not rules to, to, to stop him from getting to that point? I, I get it. Like, we, we don't do bans or whatever. But like, society should have seen him falling apart and nothing was done. Like, we're that archaic. We just let people destroy their lives. And it, it is true, though. I looked it up and like, he can die from detoxing from alcohol. He didn't. Obviously, because he's in a home, but he's so permanently brain damaged. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do. But I don't think seeing him will change anything. If anything, it'll put my heart in the wrong place and make me go even further in debt and deal with things I hate and make me an angry, bitter person. And I'm not prepared to do that. And plus, I'm kind of curious. I don't know who's with me on this one. I'm kind of curious if the... Canadian fires are fake, because everybody on TikTok like, oh, fake, here's, here's Canada, it's fine. I'd actually know, because what I was thinking of doing is we'll head towards, uh, I said, this is more than just talk, there's definitely been some thought on how to do it, but uh, I was thinking of heading towards Maine, chilling out there, seeing if the smoke is insane, seeing how it is, figuring out what I need, because obviously I won't be able to drive into Canada without insurance, but I mean, I could get cheap insurance for the time, I mean, there's... There's things we can do, but I don't know how we'd get across without registration. So I'm trying to figure out what we can do, and what the options are, and take it. So if you have some out-of-the-box ideas, let me know. Like I said, I, I agree I messed up, but at the same time, the DMV did too. There's no option for the DMV to take blame here and reduce some of it. How is that right? So I'm trying to figure out what's best for me. Because I just don't know. I know everyone says they don't want to work. But I'm, I'm ready to fight though. I'm ready to do something. I'm ready to learn how to build an entire house myself. I'm ready to chop down each log. Yeah, I'm, I'm really debating on this. And I also just want to watch that movie. With this new knowledge. You know? Because I've been studying this lifestyle for a long time. Except for us, it was more of a nomad. So, like, they were living in vehicles. But I studied all sides. Because I always loved Survivor Man and stuff like that. And I studied all sides. And I'm kind of interested to see... Knowing the actual stuff now. Because, like... I, I don't know how to explain this to people that aren't nomads. It, it, it sounds... Elitist, but it's not. But you get so tired of explaining to people you're not homeless. Like... You get so tired of trying to explain to people how things work that you just give up. And you let, oh, yeah, well, I'm homeless, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm wondering if there's things that are going to be like that, that I watch and I'm like, a nomad would not do that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm curious. Did Hollywood butcher it? I'm, I'm so interested in it that I, I have to check it out. And also, 
I know it's weird, but it's true. All my heroes, Steve Irwin, they all died in nature. And I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like I got robbed. You know what I mean? Like you watch Chester from Lincoln Park and you feel like you're robbed of all this music we could have had. I don't feel like I was robbed. Steve Irwin did the best he could. He was out there pushing himself. That guy that was documenting the bears did the best he could and was killed by them. You know, I don't feel robbed. I feel like they lived full lives. And, and the weird thing is, too, like, when you're in these scenarios, you only see them live to 40, but you have no idea how much spare time they had out in the woods, how many journeys, hikes, fun times they had. Like, it, it literally is like a lifetime of hiking, because when I was in the city, we did nothing. You know, we did absolutely nothing. So to me, it balances out. And I know this is a lot to take in. And I'm curious, because this is really going to tell me who's a friend, who's a viewer, what are we what are we doing? You know? And this isn't gonna be a oh, this is what you guys vote on, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna put thought into each side. I'm gonna look. Can I sue them? I'm gonna look. Are there any loopholes I can take advantage of? I'm gonna look. Where can I go to post and figure out the next step to see what we can do? Cause like one of the things that really bothered me in the movie is he just ditched the car. But he could have taken the car at least the rest of the way. And details bother me because details matter. It makes no sense for someone who was going to ditch the car anyways to not just take it the full way it can go and then ditch it. It makes no sense. And that's always bothered me about the movie. So I want to watch it again with a new lease on life and see what's up. It sucks that I can't... What does this do? What the hell did that do? I think I took a screenshot. Why does everyone else have the ability to turn the damn thing around except me? It's so weird. I can do this, I guess. Nope, not really. That burn kind of healed. Got a burn when I was cooking. Uh, idiot on the fryer didn't know what he was doing. Oh, I've never seen that happen. Yeah, it happened because you're an idiot and you don't know how to cook. You can't say that in the moment. You try to be nice to people, but it's true. You're an idiot. You didn't know what you were doing. Um... When something's blistering, you don't put it there and poke it, you, you fucking moron. Yeah, it's going to pop, and grease is going to go everywhere. Now, let's see what you guys think of this. I'm going to upload this right away. Let it post. It's going to go live. I'm not even going to put any clickbait or anything on it. This is for the true viewers who have actually stuck by me and watched, because I know some of you. I know Jackson. I know Adam. I know you guys. And I know this is a lot to take in. And I don't want you to feel bad for me. I don't want you sending me money. I actually could go that route. I don't care. I don't know, man. I want to find a meaning in life. And every time I'm out here, I, I feel great. I feel like this is what I want. I don't know if it's a lifetime of watching it or what. I mean, who knows what will happen. But I'm going to keep trying. But uh, for today, I'm going to go try to watch this movie and see what comes to my heart. But like I said, I'm going to be... Checking out each side. It might even be more fun. It might even be... You guys might come up with something I didn't think of. But as of now, I don't think I'm paying it. Uh, I, I ate, I calmed down, and I still don't think I'm going to. And I'm just not willing to waste my summer for something that's not my fault. And now I get how all these criminals and stuff happen. And now I get how, like, homeless people... Who are crazy and mentally messed up. Like my father on the road. I imagine that some didn't get taken care of like him and checked out. They just got abandoned and left on the streets. And the more I see, the more I realize how the system is. And like, I don't want to be a part of it. Man, I'm sorry if this bums you out. I just had to make something real. It's time for me to figure out my life. I'm going to give us a couple days to figure this out. Uh, like I said, let me exercise every option and also see if you guys come up with something. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep making content. The challenge is not stopping, by the way. Even if we do it, I can still probably do it and then put my car on the cheapest insurance and still can last months. So, I mean, there's ways around this. There's ways to deal with everything. But I want to exercise every option. Because the way they did it, they made it seem like there's only two options. I thought of about six. And that's what I'm getting tired of. Is getting tricked by everybody. So you guys take care. I'm sorry for the long video, but it's going to be days before possibly I put more. So hopefully you'll understand.
Take care, guys. Peace.